my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be giving a 100% honest famous slime shot review on Slime Obsidian. I purchased about $125 worth of slime including shipping. And before we begin with this video, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you like to see more slime videos like this one. Anyways, I purchased six slimes and a bestseller set that does come with four of their best-selling slimes and some borax and a business card. The slimes that I purchased were kiwi cubes, oreo buttercream, bubble bath, peach sugar, lychee soda fizz, raspberry lemonade jelly, and the bestseller set, which included strawberry buttercream, blue moon icy, honeydew jelly, and ultraviolet. We'll be starting off with our first slime, and this is called a bubble bath. It arrived in a cardboard box, came with a blue clear slime that was full sized and about an ounce of a clear base flow. The slime also included a baggie of sparkle glitters and two duck charms. I assembled it with the foam on top to make it look like a realistic bubble bath. I decorated it some more with some glitter and placed the two rubber ducky charms on top. And here is the final outcome, a super cute slime with a ton of glitter and a nice top crunch. I do like how the slimes and charms arrive separately, but you do pay the extra price for that. But it does have more of a DIY aspect to it and you can also enjoy the two textures by itself and admire the charms while it's not sitting inside the slime. As you can tell, the clear slime is super clear, but they are both unscented. I personally prefer all my slimes to be scented, so it would be great if Slime Obsidian does offer some scented clear slimes. But if you do not like your slime scented or have some sensitivities, then I would recommend this slime for you. It's a nice thick clear slime that does look exactly like a cute little bubble bath, especially with the two rubber ducky charms. It is great for table play and overall bubble pops. The foam beads do give the slime some nice texture and slight crunches. Our next slime is called Raspberry Lemonade Jelly and this is a pink super thick jelly slime that comes with a lemon charm, raspberry female slices, and lemon slices. I have noticed that throughout my reviews of his jelly slimes, they have been getting a little more different each time. They used to be like really wet, super soft and squishy, but this one is completely dry and super, super thick. It's also not as stretchy, but it's still pretty stretchy. I did like the other texture, but I do prefer this one. It is a lot drier. I don't prefer my slimes to be that wet and look how thick it is. It is super thick, so you do have to slowly stretch it. This slime will probably melt down a little bit and soften up in a few weeks, which I will still enjoy. It does make really great bubble pops. Overall, a really great jelly slime does inflate a ton and it's still very juicy, but not as juicy as how he used to make it. The scent smells amazing as well. It smells just like sweet lemonade.
Next up, we have Kiwi Cubes, and I believe I have purchased this line before, so this is a re-review. It is pretty much the same, I believe. It is a thick green clear base slime with jelly cubes in it, kiwi female slices, and fake seeds. The texture, color, and scent are pretty much the same as when I last purchased it, so I'm glad that the batches are pretty consistent. It features a semi-thick clear base, but the one I have here is slightly melted, which I did reactivate. And as you can tell, the jelly cubes are super satisfying to squish and give really nice, unique ASMR. Once you squish all the jelly cubes up, it turns into another texture, almost like a jelly slime. And I really enjoy it. You get two textures in one. The scent is super fruity as well and smells just like a sour kiwi. Overall, definitely recommend this. Great for bubble pops and cube crushing. This next slime is called Peach Sugar, and it's a clear base crunchy Bingsu slime. So it's half pink and half orange, which gives it a nice peachy color. Comes with heart sprinkles, white flowers, and peach female slices. And of course, a green leaf charm. It's scented very strongly like sweet peaches, a super realistic scent, and of course, one of my favorites since I love peach scents. This one is pretty packed with beads and it is more than the average or more than the other slime shops that I've purchased from. I still think it's a great ratio, especially for maximum crunch and ASMR. There's still enough base to give it some nice bubble pops, but if you are looking for a softer Bingsu bead slime, you want one with more base in it. So it really does depend on your preference, but I really do love both types of Bingsu slimes, ones with more base and ones without because they both have their pros and cons. But do keep in mind that the more base there is in it, the softer it is and the longer it lasts. But the more beads means more crunchy, satisfying ASMR. Next up, we have Oreo Buttercream, and this is a pretty clay-heavy slime scented very strongly like sweet Oreo, which I really love. It smells just like the cream in the Oreo with a hint of the chocolate cookie. Initially, there is a slight wet residue when playing with his clay slimes since they are using that wet creamy clay. This is pretty normal with this type of clay slime, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, this slime also comes with Oreo crumbs, black heart sprinkles, and an Oreo charm. This texture is thick but also very light since it's very clay heavy. Overall, very, very stretchy as well. And super, super inflatable. It inflates a ton, becomes super sizzly, which I really enjoy.
Next up, we have lychee soda fizz or lychee soda fizz, whichever way you pronounce it. Both are correct, by the way. The scent for this is amazing. One of my favorites from his shop and definitely from this package. Smells just like sweet lychee fruit. I also love the colors of it as well. It has a clear base pink snow fizz on the bottom with some foam beads on top and some matching sprinkles and glitter. It is super, super crunchy, which I really enjoy. His snow fizzes are a little bit on the tighter side. I really do enjoy inflating this one since it does loosen up a lot, becomes so fluffy, and I just love the crackly ASMR it makes. Next up, we have the bestseller set. So it arrives in this black slime obsidian box. Comes with four four ounces. It includes strawberry buttercream, honeydew jelly, ultraviolet, and blue moon icy. You pay around $30 for around 16 ounces total in slime. We'll start off with, I believe, their number one bestseller, and this is called ultraviolet. To be honest, this is probably my third or fourth time reviewing this slime. So again, it is a re-review. The texture and color are pretty much the same as before. It has that purple, red, blue color shift. It is the same clear slime texture. It's thick, but not too thick. It's very stretchy, very clicky, and great for bubble pops and table play. This one was a bit sticky, so I added some activator, but you can still see the color shift. The unique coloring is really what makes the slime shine and definitely recommend it if you are interested in it. And it is unscented, so great for those who are sensitive to scents. The first two times I purchased it, it was unscented, but it did smell like sunblock to me, which still smells very pleasant, but this one is actually fully unscented, so I don't really smell anything. The next slime in the bestseller set is called Honeydew Jelly, and I believe it is also like my second, third, or fourth time reviewing this slime, and the texture has changed. Every single time I purchase a jelly, the texture is slightly different from the rest. At first, it was squishy and wet, and now it's just dry and thick. The texture is definitely not what it used to be, but it's still really great. It's very juicy. You can see all the snow granules, very holdable, great for bubble pops, and scented, very similar like sour honeydew melon. Overall, a really great textured slime to squish and for really nice bubble pops as well.
The third slime we have in the bestseller set is called Blue Moon Icy, and this is my first time purchasing it, so it's not a re-review. But I have tried his Icy's before, and they do feel pretty similar. They are super sizzly and on the wetter side, and this one seems pretty packed with snow. This is a blue one that comes with some glitters and sprinkles and it's scented very fruity like mango and strawberry which I really enjoy since I love fruity scents. As you can tell this slime is super sizzly. I love the soft sizzles throughout it while squishing it. It is definitely very soft and squishy as well. This one did arrive just the slightest bit stiff which isn't a huge problem. You can just leave it in the sunlight or add some softener. There is a bit of snow residue or snow fallout, which is pretty normal with any snow-based slime, but I do really love how much this one fluffs up. Lastly, from Slime Ascidian, we have Strawberry Buttercream. The texture of this one is pretty much the same as Oreo Buttercream, but with a different color and different scent, and of course, different sprinkles. There are strawberry female slices, and it also comes with some red glitter throughout the slime. It's a pretty clay-heavy slime that is on the lighter side does inflate a ton to make really nice sizzles. This one scented like super sweet strawberries and usually I love strawberry scents, but this one isn't really a favorite of mine, but that's just a personal preference. I still strongly suggest any of his buttercreams if you're looking for a clay heavy slime that is super inflatable, becomes super fluffy and sizzly. Overall, enjoyed my slime package from Slime Obsidian. Even though the slimes are a bit on the simpler side, the textures are all pretty great. Definitely recommend checking out their shop. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!